I just made a WhatsApp chatbot but not with a test number with a real number for a real business and this is what happens watch this I type a message on WhatsApp instantly the bot reads it processes it and replies back like a real human no delay no confusion just clean responses every single time the moment the message hits the business number the WhatsApp trigger fires it grabs the text sends it to an AI agent the AI then creates a perfect response and the bot sends it back to the user the user message the bot response phone number and the exact timestamp all of it gets recorded line by line in a google sheet so the business owner can open the sheet anytime and see what conversations are happening in real time this is how modern whatsapp automation works real number real customers fully transparent fully trackable so now we'll be building this entire workflow from scratch for this you will have to have an 8 account okay so just come to google search for any 10 and then you can sign up here okay so they give 14 days of free trial so now i have already got an account so this is the dashboard that i'll see so now i'll be adding a whatsapp node here just click here search for whatsapp select this option and now i'll select on messages okay now i'll click on back okay so now i'll be adding an ai agent so that whenever we receive any message it will use the ai agent to think and reply okay so for this reason i will add an ai agent here i'll click on plus search for ai agent I'll select this option okay i'll click on back okay so now i'll be adding chat model so i'll click on plus i'll select open ai you can select anything as per your requirement so i have already connected my open ai account which is why i see this so from the model i have selected gpt 4.1 mini so you can select anything as per your requirement okay so now i'll click on back okay so now i'll be adding memory so that it remembers the past conversations so i'll select this i'll select here simple memory okay so here context window length let me select it let's say 10 so you can select 15 20 as per your requirement so it basically means it will remember the last 10 conversations okay so now i'll click on back now i'll add another node here for the whatsapp to send a reply okay so for this i'll click here i'll search for whatsapp okay but this time this will be send message okay so now i'll click on back to canvas so now we'll be connecting our whatsapp trigger node and the send message node okay so for this i'll double click here this is what we will see now we'll have to come to facebook okay so just open a new tab search for business.facebook.com click on enter so i've already got a business manager account so if you have not got any account you can create it it's very simple so now on the left hand side i'll click on settings so now I'll be selecting my business manager account from here. I have got multiple accounts. So now I'll click here and I'll select Slack AI. Okay. So after selecting Slack AI, this is what I will see. Now I'll click on apps. Okay. So now I'll click on add and now I'll click create a new app ID. So after clicking this, this is what we will see. Now here we have to mention an app name. Okay. So let us type Slack AI 3. Okay. Now this is my email ID. I'll click on next. So for use cases, I'll select others and I'll select other here and I'll click on next. Now I'll select business. I'll select next. Okay. So now we got the app name. We got the contact email and we got the business account. Okay. So now I'll click on create app. I'll enter my password for Facebook. I'll click on submit. Now I'll click on setup under WhatsApp. I'll click here setup. Okay. After clicking on setup, this is what we will see. Now here on the left hand side, click on app settings, click on basic. So this is our client ID or app ID. Just click here to copy. I'll come to my Anitin workflow. I'll select this and I'll click create new credential. Okay. So here, so I've already copied it. I'll paste it here. This is the client ID. Now I need the client secret for this. I'll come here again. This is the client secret. Okay. So I'll click on show. Okay. Now I'll just copy this. I'll come here again. I'll paste it here. I'll click on save. And now you can see connection tested successfully. I'll close this. I'll click on back to canvas. So this part is connected. Now we'll connect this part. Okay. So for this, just double click here. And now we can see credential to connect with. I'll select this. I'll select create new credential. Okay. Now access token. We need an access token here. So we'll come here. So on the left hand side, you will see WhatsApp. So under WhatsApp, you will see API setup. Okay. Just click here. Okay. So now this is what I will see. So now by default, we can see we have already got a test number, but for this video, we'll be doing with a real number for a real business. Okay. So for this reason, I'll select this and now I'll click add phone number. Okay. So now this is what we will see. We have to mention a WhatsApp business display name. So I'll click here. I'll type Slack AI. Okay. Time zone is this Asia Kolkata category here. Let me choose professional services you can select as per your requirement and this one business description it's optional so i'll click on next 
okay so now i have to enter my phone number here i'll select my country as india i select india now i will be entering my phone number okay so this is the phone number that i have entered now i need an otp so i'll select text message and i'll click on next so i'll receive an otp on my phone yeah we got the otp it's 803644 it's 803644 i'll click on next so now after adding your phone number this is what you will see so for now you can skip this you don't have to add any payment method as of now because the service that we'll be using it will be free up to a certain limit so now i'll click on generate access token okay so i'll click here and now i'll click on continue as theeraj as i'll select this option and i'll click on continue okay i'll click on save and i'll click on got it so i'll just copy this access token from here i'll come to my anit and workflow again i'll just paste this here okay so now we need business account id so for this we'll come here again we'll scroll down below and this is our business id we'll copy this we'll come here again we'll paste it here i'll click on save now and now you can see it's uh, successfully connected i'll close this now and now this is what we will see after connecting so now resource will be message operation will be send now we need to enter sender phone number or id okay so for this we'll come here and this is the phone number id we'll just copy this from here we'll come here we'll click on expression we'll make it big and we'll just paste it here this is the phone number id i'll just close this now so now we'll be entering a recipient phone number so it will be the phone number of any customer so n number of customer can message here for this reason this value will be dynamic okay so for this reason i'll click on expression i'll make it big and i'll paste code here so i've already created the code using chat gpt i'll just paste it here so here it can get messages from any random number okay so now i'll just close this now here message type will be text and now in text body let us type success okay so we'll change it later on now i'll click on back to canvas so now we have connected this whatsapp trigger part and send message part okay so now we'll be testing and we'll be seeing how we get the results so now let us click on save so now i'll be sending a whatsapp message for this i'll open a new tab i'll type w a dot me slash the phone number so this is the phone number now i'll click on enter and now i'll cancel this i'll select continue to whatsapp web and yes we can see this is our whatsapp now i'll come to this workflow again i'll click on execute workflow let us type hi enter and now we can see we have got an error here we have got another error here we have got two errors now one in ai agent node and the other one is in simple memory node okay so i'll just stop this for now okay so now we'll fix this error okay so first of all let us check the simple memory node we'll open this so here we'll select define below and now we'll click on expression we'll just open this now we'll paste a code here so I pasted this so this is what we'll see we'll close this now we'll click on back and now we'll open this ai agent node and we'll select define below and we'll click on expression we'll make it big and we'll have to drag the body from here okay so just drag the body this is the message okay so now i'll click on close and now let us add a system message i'll click on add option i'll click on system message i'll click on expression i'll make it big i'll delete this so now i'll paste a prompt here so this is the prompt that i've already made so you are sam a friendly customer support representative for slack ai so i've given a basic knowledge base like what is slack ai who we work with so we have given all the basic faqs that a customer might ask okay so you can also create it as per your requirement now i'll close this i'll click on back to canvas okay so now i'll save this okay so now let us execute the workflow again and we'll come to whatsapp here and this time let us type hello so now let us wait we'll come here now the workflow has executed and this time it is done we can see the reply here is success why success because here we have mentioned the body to be success okay so we don't want this we'll just change this click on expression make it big just delete this success and we need the output here okay so we'll drag and drop it here we'll just close this now I'll click on back to canvas okay so now we'll be adding a google sheet so that we or any business owner can see whatever conversation is happening okay so for this i've already created a google sheet so this is the google sheet you can also create the same so i've mentioned timestamp phone number user message and the bot response okay so you can create a similar sheet like this so now i'll come here i'll select this and i'll search for google sheets i'll select append row in a sheet okay so this one 
so if you have not connected your google sheet account you have to do it if you face any problem you can let me know so since i've already connected it i'm not doing it again so now from here i'll select the document so document i'll select this slack ai whatsapp conversation and now i'll select the sheet it is sheet one i'll select this and now i'll have to map the column here okay and now we need the timestamp so for timestamp so this is what it is i'll just drag and drop it here okay now for phone number we need the phone number so this is the phone number i'll just drag and drop it here and now we need the user message so we know the body was the user message so we have to search for body let us check for body this is the body we'll just drag and drop it here and now we need the bot response okay so bot response let us search for bot response this one is the bot response we'll just drag and drop it here okay so we have mapped every data so now if you see the timestamp if you make it big okay so this is how the output will look like in google sheet so this is a bit difficult for a normal user to understand okay so for us to make it more simple we have to add a different code here so i'll delete this now so i'll paste a different code here i'll paste it here so now you can see a different timestamp so this is a bit more easier for any normal person to understand we can see the date we can see the time okay so now i'll just close this option and now we'll be clicking on execute step okay so now you can see this is empty but after clicking on execute step we'll get a data here okay so I'll come here click on execute step and boom we can see and now let us open the google sheet and yes we can see we can see the timestamp we can see the phone number we can see users message we can also see the bots response okay so now our workflow is ready we'll click on back to canvas we'll save this and we'll make it active okay so now let us come to whatsapp this is our whatsapp now let me type let's say how can you help me okay let us click on enter now let us wait for a response now this is the response that we have got we help you save time and grow faster by building ai chatbots whatsapp automations and all okay so now let us check our google sheet we can see we have got the data we have got the phone number we can see the user message we can also see the bot reply so this is a multilingual chatbot so we can type in any language let's say kya aap hindi mein bol sakte ho we'll click on enter let us wait for the response now Yes, we can, we have got a response. Bilkul, aapko apne business mein kis cheez ko automate karna hai? Batao, madad karta hoon. Okay, now we'll come to our Google Sheet. We can see this data has also been noted here. So if you give this access to your client, your client can see like what all discussions are happening. Okay, so now our workflow is ready. But it is very important for you to understand the phone number that you will be using here. You have to note and ensure that the number is not being used for your normal WhatsApp or for any WhatsApp business account. Okay, it should be a fresh new number. So now one last thing. So right now the access token that we have here. So it is temporary and it may expire after some time okay so for this reason we'll have to have a permanent access token okay so just click here so we'll have to get a permanent access token here we'll delete this we'll go to facebook again just search business.facebook.com click on settings select the business manager from here it is slack ai for me i've selected this now select system users okay so now you have to create a new system user okay so i have already created a system user by the name slack ai so it will be empty for you if you have not created it so you can create it just click here add and you can mention your system user name and here you have to mention admin okay so after doing this this is what you will see okay now i'll have to assign assets okay so i'll click here i'll select assign assets and now i'll select the app that i've created i'll click here full control and now i'll select this whatsapp account i'll select all and here also i'll select full control i'll select assign assets okay so after assigning the assets i'll click on done and now we'll be generating a token so just click here generate token and i'll select the app here slack ai3 and now i'll click on next and here it is important to select never okay because here if you select never the token is not going to expire i'll click on next and now i'll select the permission here so here scroll down below and you will have to select whatsapp business messaging and whatsapp business management okay so this two is enough now i'll come here i'll click on generate token okay so now this token i'll be copying this i'll come here i'll just paste it here i'll click on save 
so now our token is not going to expire you can continuously chat with whatsapp and for this case any random number can send a message to this whatsapp business number okay so one last thing so now if you want to change the logo if you want to change your business details if you want to mention description you just come here search for business.facebook.com and then you have to click on settings you select your business account and then click on whatsapp accounts and this is the whatsapp account and now click on whatsapp manager okay so this is the number click here okay so now select on profile okay so now if you want to change the profile picture you can select any image here and here if you want to change the display name and if you want to add any other details like description address email website you can do it from here and one last thing if you need this blue check in your business account then you will have to register your business and you have to apply to facebook for verification once it is verified then you will see a blue check mark so this is how you create a whatsapp ai agent with a real number so if you need the prompts the codes or the json file for this video you can let me know thank you so much for watching this video